Did you know that Stardew Valley 1.6 added a fish smoker? You can smoke fish to get double the profit. And did you know that 1.6 adds an entirely new fish? Or what about Mary Lewis's secret prize machine? Or what about the raccoon house? Or the mystery boxes? Well, if you want to know about all those things, then watch the video because that's that's all that's that's the video. Now, first, there's the fish smoker. Getting the recipe is easy enough. You just have to go to Willy with a high enough fishing level, and he'll sell you the recipe for about 10,000 G. However, after that, things get a bit tricky. You see, to craft the fish smoker, you're first going to need 10 hardwood, which is easy enough to get, and 3 jellies. Now these jellies are also new fish added into the game. The sea jelly, the cave jelly, and the river jelly. They are very, very rare. To catch the river jelly, you just have to fish in the river, or perhaps in the desert, like where I caught my river jelly. To catch the cave jelly, I'd recommend fishing on level 100 of the mines. Now for the sea jelly, you'll need to fish in the ocean but it is extremely rare. However, if you can get all three jellies, then you can craft the fish smoker. The fish smoker is kind of like a furnace. You could put a fish in using a coal and turn it into a smoked version of itself. It keeps the quality and doubles the price. However, it's pretty tough to get more than one since the sea jellies are so rare. If you're gonna go for a long gameplay, I'd recommend putting the sea jellies in fish ponds and letting them reproduce. That way you can have a steady stream of sea jellies for machines. Anyways, on to the next thing. Now, besides the sea jellies, there's a new fish, the goby, added to Stardew Valley. 1.6. To catch the goby, you actually have to fish in a waterfall. I caught the goby by fishing on the waterfall next to Hat Mouse, but you might be able to catch him in a different one, but I'm not sure. In the past, when you completed an event, like the egg hunt, you'd get probably a thousand G as a prize. Now, however, you get a prize ticket. These prize tickets can be taken to Mayor Lewis's house, where he has a machine. This machine allows you to trade in prize tickets for a large number of items. Here I have 999 prize tickets that I got totally legitimately. While the first few items are pretty simple, just some seeds and a peach sapling, the more tickets you spend, the better the items get. You can get starter up tea, which is a very good gift for NPCs, a bunch of farming stuff, a new book, which increases your friendship, some vanity items, a couple of placeable items, even a fish smoker. Eventually you'll even get a rainbow rock candy, which is very hard to get. And you even get treasure chests. So Lewis's prize machine is pretty good if you have enough tickets. Now, mystery boxes. Mystery boxes are a new item kind of like geodes or golden coconuts that you can break open at Clint's to get a variety of items, including bombs, coffee, and even mystery box clothing. Pretty cool new addition. Now, lastly, if you've gone down to the bottom area near Marnie's ranch, you'll see a giant tree. After enough days have passed, you'll get a cutscene where it'll say the wind has blown the tree down. When you check on it next, it'll say you can repair it for 100 hardwood. If you repair the tree with 100 hardwood, it turns into a house and a raccoon moves in. Now, this raccoon will ask you for a couple of items, kind of like a community center bundle. After you complete them, he gives you 25 carrot seeds, which for a smoked fish, not a very good deal, man. Still though, it's pretty cool to have a whole new building. Yeah, that's about it for the video. I mean, if you liked it, uh, click the subscribe button. If you didn't like it, click the subscribe button. Just, just do it regardless, please. There is a tiny, tiny percentage of people who are actually subscribed, and if you could just become part of that tiny percent, I would be very grateful. All right, bye.